Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Teaching Online with Kelsey. My name is Kelsey and I created this channel to vlog about my life as a full-time online teacher and to help other online teachers as well. So please make sure that this is not the last time that you see me by hitting that red subscription button and the bell down below to be notified of new videos every week. And to also get this video a thumbs up, it helps support me and this channel that I provide for you. And if you have any questions for me or suggestions for upcoming videos, please make sure to leave a comment down below. And before we get started on this video, I want to share with you my newsletter that I release every week on Monday. You get sneak peeks of upcoming videos that are gonna be live on YouTube. And to also follow me on Teachers Pay Teachers, I have a free guide and some other fun resources for you teachers out there. And it's a free guide on how to work more efficiently. And it's great if you're just new to teaching online full-time or even teaching online in general and just how to work all your things and writing up your curriculum and how you wanna live your life more efficiently. So there's something that I've been reflecting on and been thinking a whole lot in terms of like changes that have been happening within the online teaching community and specifically the ESL online teaching community and even more specific the ESL online companies that are based off of China. So if you are not completely in the loop on what's happening in the online teaching world, so many online teaching companies that are based off in China, there's a new regulation law in China where students, so children, are limiting their screen time. So children are no longer able to take online lessons with a foreign teacher, so American teachers. So what that essentially means for a lot of these companies is that they either have to shut their doors or they pivot, which is what VIP Kid is doing. They are pivoting to a global format where they try to offer lessons for other children that want to learn English, but they're not based in China, and then offer lessons for adults. And that could be anywhere because there's no regulation for adults, which that makes sense. So I admire VIP Kid going to that route and you know I and if you're still a VIP kid teacher and you're still sticking with it thick and thin I admire you for that however there may be other ESL teachers that do not work with VIP kid but work for another Chinese based online teaching company that have decided to close their doors and now they're like oh my goodness what am I going to do next you know, like, and especially if that was your only main source of income for online teaching, you really feel like you're stuck, like you don't know what to do next. And so I've been thinking a lot about that. And I've been realizing that, you know, I don't see OutSchool going down the toilet anytime soon. I still feel like OutSchool is going to be around for a while. But here's the thing, we can't guarantee that either. OutSchool could decide to close their doors tomorrow. And in my very first video, which I'll leave in the cards, I specifically say that I quit my full-time job to be a full-time OutSchool teacher because at the time, I really was making a lot more than I did at my full-time job that I had. And, you know, and I was really hopeful and I didn't want to feel like I was cheating on OutSchool you know, to go work with other teaching companies. But I'm slowly beginning to realize like, it's okay if I go and venture out to other companies because as we see with a lot of these other, you know, ESL online teaching companies closing their doors, you just never know what's going to happen to the, to the teaching platform that you teach on. You don't know if it's going to be around for 10 more years or if it's going to be around for 10 more days. You don't, you don't know. And so I think if you are considering being a full-time online teacher, you know, 
definitely make sure that you can at least make the same amount of money that you would at your full-time job or more. Yes, but make sure that you have multiple platforms that you can teach on too. I've decided to reach out onto Cambly and then I am now officially um, on the all school team too, but they're not gonna be able to start up until later in the year. So, so very end 2021 and early 2022. So that's the last that I heard. So I'm joining on to those platforms uh, just so that way I have some sort of supplementary income because I have noticed even for OutSchool, even though the platform itself is great, you know, enrollments have not been so great and probably because of the kids going back to school in person, which is fine, I get it, you know? So we, you know, if you're a full-time online teacher, you know, you gotta adapt to these changes and you gotta be open to teaching on more than one platform and be willing to do even some research and homework on affiliate links to kind of help passively support you. Even if there was a day that you had no out school enrollments or no all school enrollments, but maybe you could open yourself up to Cambly, you know, or Kid Pass or any of the other platforms that are out there. And, you know, there's, a, there's been a lot of more platforms now where you can teach more content based instead of teaching English, which is cool. We, we're starting to see this change of online teaching kind of becoming the norm. And, you know, I know it's my job, but I'm, I'm not really mad at that. You know, because I think, I think we would have come to the place where we would have had to take lessons online and learn all our things online eventually. You know, I just think a, a panorama kind of helped sped up that process a little bit where now meetings can be done at home. You don't have to purchase a plane ticket or, or use your gas money to go to a one hour meeting. You know, you can do it at home or in your office. And then there are many people just like me that teach from home they don't ever have to step in their car and go to their job and actually teach what they love to teach without any sort of administrative or, or, you know, any troubling kids that you have to see every single day. Like you, you have so much more freedom with this. Just know if you're going into the field, it's okay if you go and, and teach on other platforms and make yourself available and no one said this was an easy job. Like, I know a lot of us probably advertise, like, yeah, I get to work the kind of hours that I want. I get to work whenever I want. I get to do whatever I want. Well, a lot of the stuff behind the scenes is really a lot of work. It's a lot of work up front. And if you're doing like passive income, like having to put in the work for flex classes or signing up for affiliate links, or making products or services, like those take time to work. You, th th those take time for us to share those things and to share it with the world. And even then it takes even more time for revenue of that hard work to, to build up. So it's, it may sound like an easy journey, but it's not, you know, it, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work up front before the profits actually start coming in, like in terms of passive income. So I just, you know, and if you're wanting to be an online teacher and teach classes, you know, it's generally a good idea to already kind of have a building and a following of certain classes that you know can make up for your regular income from your full-time job, your brick and mortar job now. So I, you know, I, so obviously if you got that, that's what's gonna motivate you to quit your job and be a full-time online teacher. But if you're wanting to get some other passive stuff 
in case there are moments like now where it's really slow or everything's up in the air and you're not really sure like what you know what to do next you know leave your options open leave your options open and realize you may have to put in a lot of effort into other things to really get the business going and to get it really consistent advice to you right now especially if you are a vip kid teacher and you're like uh, i don't know if i want to stay with the company or if you or if you were with another esl company that was based off of china and they had to close their doors if you are sitting here like what am i going to do next for income and maybe maybe it wasn't for full-time income maybe it was just for easy part-time income but maybe you really enjoyed it and you're like well, I don't want to just go work at Starbucks or I don't want to just go work at McDonald's to just have play money or to pay off debt. Like, I get it. Like, I I, I worked as a teacher and, and worked at a coffee shop in hopes of the money from the coffee shop would help pay off debt. And that just, that, that just didn't happen. So, <laughs> so, I mean, I get it. Like, if you're able to teach lessons from home and earn a lot more pay, doing it then yeah i don't blame you for not wanting to just go to starbucks to to get a part-time job like you do what you know and you do what you know really well especially if you've been teaching online for years we know these online teaching platforms have been around for a while so you know why why stop there if you know you have mastered something out of it that can really be beneficial so you know, my advice to you is there are other platforms for you to go on. Yes, there is OutSchool. That's the main platform that I teach on right now. And that's where you do have to create your own curriculum, but you set your own days and hours and rate, you know, and you can, and you can make it where they're live classes or they're flexible classes. So the flex classes are a little tricky. Um, to get enrollments in. Uh, so those those usually take time to build up and to have families want to sign up and participate in it. But, you know, you reap what you sow. So eventually, you know, when you create these classes that they'll do, that they'll build up. <laughs> so there's always out school. There's also Cambly if you want to stay in the ESL world. Uh, there's not, there are lessons on Cambly, but it's more like a conversation based. So you have those two options there. And then there's All School, which is, which I've already done a couple of videos on for, you know, what is it in general? And then how to do the sample demo lesson if you are not comfortable writing your own curriculum. So you, you got, you ha I, I, I've given you three options that I am doing. Basically, and that's just because if OutSchool decides to close their doors, then I can do Cambly or I can stay with AllSchool. And then if for some reason those companies, like I know AllSchool is not even officially started yet as of October 2021. So if the opening is delayed or if they're like, uh, this is not going to work out, you know, then... I, you know, then there's other platforms out there. There, there's KidPass. There's Skill, there's Skillshare and Udemy for adults. And then there's also just advertising yourself for private tutoring. Tutoring has become a really big thing on OutSchool too. But just remember, if you do it on OutSchool, they they do take thirty percent um, of the pay that you've earned on there. So my best advice, if you're able to to do private tutoring kind of do it directly where you know the pay is just going to go directly to you and there's not going to be takeaway rates and then if you want to set aside taxes that's that's up to you on there i i'm not going to rat you out if you don't so i get it <laughs> you're one of these teachers that are kind of stuck in what to do next after your company has decided to shut its doors you know, go venture out to other companies and use those skills there because there's there's all sorts of different online teaching companies that you can teach 
on there that are always looking for teachers. That it doesn't look like there's going to be any sort of regulations coming up anytime soon that they would have to close their doors or pivot or or do you know what would you know what would change your enrollments or your income so I would look into that um, if that's the kind of rut that you're in right now and then and then don't rely on your passive income when you're first starting out I mean I'm not even into a year in this and my my affiliate stuff and you know it may get like a few link like a few clicks but like there hasn't really been any kind of income so you know unless you just really know how to bank it or you know affiliate links will you just let us know like down in the comments how you do that because I kind of want to know I need a little assistance and I think we could all use a little assistance <laughs> and support on that so just so just so you know don't rely on your affiliate links and always venture out and always be willing to change adapt to change as it is and you have to be vigilant about that you have to be vigilant about these changes and be aware of the changes because you know especially it's part of your livelihood you got to be aware of the changes in your life because we may have no choice but to put all this down shut down our computers and and everything that we're used to and just go work a brick and mortar job you just never know my goal is to never go back to a brick and mortar job again and i mean like unless they actually start paying their teachers like six figures a year and that teachers actually start earning like some or not even earning but just like teachers having respect in the classroom and realize that we're human beings and you know and we deserve respect just as much as everybody else so unless unless that actually starts to happen to us teachers more than likely I'm going to stay put with what I'm doing because I know that this is working for me so far and I've never been happier and God forbid the day that we would have to like not do online teaching anymore and we have no choice but to go back to you know a brick and mortar job. I mean, I probably would end up like going into real estate or or something if 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 that if that was the case for me because I I wouldn't know what else I could be like good at like because if I have if I was to go back to brick and mortar teaching like I would be earning a whole lot less and <laughs> so I'd be earning just a whole lot less not so great benefits and you know and bent it's like best thing we could do is pizza Ah, boy. <laughs> Thanks for your hard work. Here's some pizza. <laughs> okay. So, don't be afraid to adapt to change, my friends. And if you have any questions for me, please leave a comment down below. We'd be happy to answer that for you. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification down below for new videos every week and I will see you next time.